Hi there, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to configure VPC peering for your Atlas cluster and AWS. A VPC peering connection is a network connection between two VPCs that enables you to route traffic between them privately. Let's go over how to peer your VPC with MongoDB Atlas and Amazon Web Services. For those who aren't familiar with VPC peering, it's the ability to transmit your MongoDB data over an AWS private network to a VPC managed under your customer AWS account. The two VPCs we're going to be working with during this lesson are the Atlas VPC and your AWS VPC. If you're using a free tier cluster, you'll want to upgrade to at least an M10 cluster in order to use peering. Amazon provides you with a default VPC for your account, as well as the ability to create custom VPCs with specific subnets if you'd like. The Atlas VPC is created automatically when you deploy your cluster. There's no management of the subnet required, and you can extend the VPC via peering to your own personal host VPC. We also allow you to specify an IP for your Atlas VPC when creating the cluster. We're going to specifically ensure that the IP space between a host and our Atlas VPC can communicate through the private IPs only. And by IP space, what we mean is the range of private IPs used in both VPCs. One thing you have to keep in mind is that your Atlas sitter block cannot be modified if you've already launched a cluster. You'll have to make that decision on what IP ranges your cluster will use before we get started. Another thing that's important is that the IP addresses for your own AWS VPC have to meet RFC standards. You can't use random IPs because you don't want them to accidentally get routed over the public internet you must use private IPs. So with all that said, let's jump into the AWS console and configure a VPC. In AWS, we're going to use the VPC wizard to create a new VPC. We're going to create a VPC with public and private subnets. So click select. We're going to leave all of this pretty much standard apart from giving the VPC a unique name. We're gonna call it Barry underscore security. And then we're going to associate an elastic IP for a NAT gateway. The reason we're going to do this is because any hosts that we deploy in this VPC may need to be able to access the public internet. So let's click create. Okay, our VPC is being created. So now we can jump over to Atlas and start to configure the peering connection from the Atlas side. In our cluster view, we're going to click on network access and the peering option up the top and add peering connection. And as our clusters in AWS, our VPCs in AWS, we're gonna select AWS. On this form, we're gonna be asked for some information. So we need our account ID, which is your AWS 12 digit account number, the VPC ID, which we can grab from the VPC dashboard. We need the VPC sitter block, which we're also gonna grab from that dashboard, the VPC region, and then our Atlas VPC region and VPC sitter for Atlas. Once we have all that complete, we can just initiate peering. It will take a minute for Atlas to set up the peering connection. And once it does, we should see a message here to say that we need to accept the peering connection on the AWS side. So now we see the message that the peering connection is waiting for approval. We can jump over to AWS and fix that up. In the AWS console on the left-hand side, you'll see there's a peering connection option. And we can see here that there's a pending access request that's coming from Atlas. We can double check all the information down here to make sure that it's okay. We know it is, so we can accept the request. Yes, accept. And then we'll see in the UI that the request is active. So when we go back to Atlas, we can see that it's still waiting approval. And that's because we have one more thing we need to do. We need to add the sitter block for the Atlas VPC to the root tables for our AWS VPC. So let's do that now. Let's check our root table. We're going to go to Roots, Edit Roots, and then we're going to add our Atlas VPC sitter block. I'm going to select Peering Connection, select the Peering Connection from Atlas, and save Roots. And it's successfully edited. So let's jump back into Atlas and check the status of the Peering Connection on the Atlas side. Okay, so back in Atlas, we can see that our Peering Connection is successfully set up. Just to note that this can take up to 10 minutes to appear as set up in Atlas. So give it some time. How can we test that this is all working correctly? Well, there are a couple of ways. You can go to your VPC and you can set up a host. 
So configure an EC2 instance within your VPC. Then go to your cluster tab, get one of the host names from your cluster and use dig or host name or one of those commands to see that the host name is resolving inside your VPC. So now that we've configured our VPC peering connection, this is what we have. We've got our Atlas VPC on the right hand side with our Atlas cluster inside it. We've got the peered connection in the middle and on the left we've got our AWS VPC in which we can deploy any number of hosts we'd like and they will communicate with our Atlas cluster all over private IPs. And remember, all internode communication in your Atlas VPC happens over private IPs by default. So let's recap. In order to use VPC peering, you need to be using a non-free cluster. Specifically, you need to be using an M10 plus cluster. You need to configure your VPC in AWS, and you need to add the VPC details to Atlas. And then once you've added your VPC details in Atlas, you need to go over to AWS and accept the peering connection and configure your root tables. You can also configure your security group so that it will allow access from a single IP or a range of IPs on different ports from the EC2 console. And that's how you can configure VPC peering on your Atlas cluster.